It's a fast world today. Light speed technology, smartphones, computers, and social media. Our youth are spending more time indoors with electronic devices than outdoors with nature and other people. If the next generation doesn't go outside to appreciate nature, how will they become stewards of our land, water, and wildlife? And if they don't learn to work with others to solve problems, how will they find solutions to the world's greatest challenges? The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and many other partners are using a real-life Western challenge to engage youth in hands-on conservation. Its Sage Grouse in the Schools program gets high school students outdoors to learn about conservation. Sage grouse and the rangelands they depend upon are in trouble. Idahoans must work together to improve the health of the land. On sage grouse in the school's field trips, students meet biologists and ranchers who are working together. They watch male sage grouse puff and strut on the leks or mating grounds as the morning sun peaks over the mountain. Later, students work with landowners on a habitat improvement project that provides a lesson in range management and habitat conservation. This is hands-on rangeland and biological education at its best. But it teaches deeper lessons to these students. They learn stewardship begins outdoors with an understanding of the interconnectedness of nature and people. They learn economics and conservation go hand in hand, and both are pivotal to maintaining Idaho's working lands and culture. And they discover that diverse perspectives can create successful partnerships to tackle tough problems. This generation will be charged with caring for western landscapes and the wildlife we love. Their journey will require outdoor experience, the ability to work with others, and a deep understanding of nature's delicate balance. Sage grouse in the schools points them in the right direction. 